I'm wondering if you could speak a little bit about water. You know, we just talked about fire and water is such a hot topic in our country right okay. now. Wait till I drink water. Yes. <laughs> How can we improve our relationship with water? As I mentioned before, our people look at fire, water, and earth, and uh, those kinds of things. They, they, the, all the natural things. The, the wind, for instance. Uh, you have to work. Don't, uh, try. Don't try to conquer those natural things because you're going to lose. And I know exactly. I know exactly. There's this couple who used to come to the ceremony. And uh, I talk about uh, working with all natural things or try to learn about that so that you can... Because so, you're going to live among among naturalness, among the trees, among with the wind, with the fire, with the water, with the, everything. And so, so it's, it, it's good if you learn uh, the laws of these natural things. But part of that learning is you, you're standing in front of this tree and you're telling this tree who you are. And this couple... Uh, they they were been coming to the ceremonies for a little while, about a year maybe, maybe more. One day the man decided he's going to go kayaking, and on this big river. And of course, the, those young men they're they're macho, right? They're going to drink beer and they're going to go over there and they're going to tackle that water. He drowned. And that lady came to me, and he, she was really upset with me. I thought you said everything was going to be good. I said, yeah, everything would have been good. What I said to you was, don't challenge the water, because you're going to lose. You always want to respect that those natural things out there. And... That came from a long time ago when Creator put man on earth. Live in a sustainable way. Creator didn't say, go to the Atlantic Ocean and, and fish out all the cod and, and then go on welfare and get $3,000 a month. Creator didn't say that. Creator said, share. Creator said, care. Creator said, these are your relatives, live in harmony with one another. That's why I said, I think I said that last time I was here or or just this past day, that I, I caught two fish. I took one home and I gave one to my cousin's family. The, the law of sharing. That's That's what Creator told us. Live in a sustainable way and live in harmony with one another. Every year when we do a ceremony, uh, my sister goes to the lake, takes a container like this, takes a little bit of water, seals it up, takes it to the tree, puts it in front of the tree, and dance for four days without food and water as our way of wanting to protect that water in that big lake. We have a big lake at home. And all the rest of the people, they're farming and they're dumping stuff into the water. And there's two, two rivers that flow, in, three rivers that flow into the water. They're putting all kinds of junk into the lake. And uh, we're doing our best to try and protect that water that they don't re, re uh, refresh itself from all these poisons that people don't understand. That's what's going on. Our people told us, you will live because you drink water. 
You think it's food that you would live by? No, it's water. So that's how important it is for us to, to, to look after the water. When it rains, you give thanks, make an offering. Try and when we have, when we finished with water, if you wash, you don't throw, you don't throw it into the bush. You put it into the ground and gently pour it on the ground when you're finished with that water. You don't go over there and start splashing around on the beach or the river when you're swimming. You go there to bathe. That's the teaching of that water. Twice a year, you sing that water song. It's March 21st and September the 21st. March 21st, the water turns from solid to liquid. September 21st, the water turns from liquid to solid. And uh, you sing that water song. And you, when the water comes, the ceremony, when we did ceremony, that old man told me, water is coming. And when water comes, he said, you go and take food and tobacco and put it in the water. Okay, Grandpa, I will. Sure enough, I thought, oh yeah, he's telling us it's going to flood again. So when the waters came and started to rise, I went over there and I cooked some food and took some tobacco and I put it in the water. I said, thank you, look after our people. We know this road here, this, this water is a road for our people. There's the fish that live underneath there. There's the ducks that live on there. There's our traveling by canoes along that river. There's food underneath for, for us to eat. So the water looks after all of those, and the water works with Mother Earth. The water runs like this. Let, let the water take the course. Let the water flow where it needs to flow. It, the water is flowing over there, and the, the engineer comes and he says, OK, we're going to cut this water, and we're going to direct it over there and spoil the whole naturalness of the whole thing. And then it starts to flood. Man don't know. Water knows. Water is sacred. And so we sing that water song every year, and we uh, bring that water to the to the ceremonies. And uh, of course, there's lots more to say about water, but uh, when we come across that, when we come across that water. It's not by itself. It's connected to a whole bunch of things. So there's medicine that grow where the water flows. There's medicine that grow in the water. There's medicine that grow along the edge of the water. We use both those medicines, but we say thank you, not only to Creator who gave us the law, but to, to Mother Earth and to the water. We try to pay great attention to naturalness, natural things. So, so that's what uh, I understand about water. There's a law, water has laws. So it's pretty important. I just have one, one more question. Um, how can we engage young people with indigenous wisdom? We need to share the meaning of living at every turn, at every turn. Do you want some water? Yes, the little boy said. Do you know where water comes from? Did you know? Did you know that we sing songs about water. Do you want to hear that song? Or come to the ceremony, you kids. Come on, we're going to sing the water song.
time to celebrate that water song. Oh, really? I didn't know there was a water song. Yeah. So explain the meaning of water at every turn. Just like uh, where the water comes from, what do we do with water, why we do that. And do that on a consistent basis. Don't do it just once. Do it all the time. And show it by action so that these young ones can learn about those things. More and more of our young people are starting to come to these ceremonies now. They never used to be. They do. We and a long time ago they kept the kids away from the ceremonies because they needed no interruption. About 50 years ago, they started to bring kids to the ceremonies because the spirits really liked the kids. They used to give candies to the kids in the ceremony. Imagine that. There's a bowl of candies there, and there's little kids, two little kids there, and the spirits took and threw those candies right towards those kids, and the kids felt something hitting them, and they picked it up. It was candy. So they ate, they ate it. It's dark in there, you can't see nothing. So, And while that ceremony was going on, that's what the Spirit is doing to those little kids. So now the kids are, are moving away from... They used to uh, listen to this uh, uh, rap music, those, those kids. Now they're moving away from that and they're starting to listen to our own, the songs that we had. For a long, you know, they're starting to listen to that now. So, and uh, I'm really enjoying the the participation of young kids. At, and we need to do that all the time. When we cut the tree and when the women had a sun dance, the young kids, both young boys and girls, they're just small. They took the axe and symbolically they, they helped cut the tree in the four directions of their participation. And we have to explain to them why. Every year, for four years, we're going to explain to them, this is why you're doing this. Mm -hmm. So it's important that we, that we tell the kids what's going on. Thank you. Thank you so much.